Hi, and welcome to this episode of In a Car with IPR. I'm really excited to be here with our IPR chair, Stacy Jones, who runs Global Corporate Comms at Accenture. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Tina. We couldn't be happier to have you at One Manhattan West here at the Accenture offices, and we have a special surprise in store. I hear. I hear we're going to be holograms, just like they do at Coachella. And then also we're going to the metaverse. Yeah, just a little getaway. Special <laughs> IPR episode of the metaverse. <laughs> We're going to take you to the tenth, the nth floor, not the tenth floor today. Okay, good. I'm really looking forward to it. Wonderful. All right, ready to go? Off we go. Hello, Stacy. Tina, so great to see you. I'm here. <laughs> so um, we are on Accenture's nth floor. I would love for you to tell us about what we're doing and where we are. I'd be happy to. And uh, as you can see, we are in the metaverse. It's our nth floor. And this is where we welcome many of our people every day. They come here to solve problems, take training, just catch up with each other from all around the world. And we've also onboarded 150,000 new joiners to Accenture on the nth floor. So I would love to hear about, like you talked about new joiners, like how are people using it on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, well, let me take you back to day one as a new joiner. You might be at your home office because we've all been spending a lot of time there uh, during the pandemic. You receive a box from Accenture. And in that box, you have a lot of Accenture swag that you get to decorate your environment with, but you also have a set of Oculus Quest 2 headset, and that is something that will take you in your orientation right here to the nth floor. And we found that even though our people were physically distant, getting them together in this virtual environment, it just got us beyond spaces and places, and it enabled people, even though they weren't in an orientation room together, to meet people from all over the world. They solved learning challenges together. They had social time and the, the outcome has been incredible. The learning itself is more immersive. And in fact, one study recently showed that 33% better stickiness for the learning when you take it in an immersive environment. So there've just been so many benefits. And beside that, it's just a lot of fun. It is really neat. So we're in the lounge area. And you have like direct beautiful views of the skyline in New York. There's like a water feature. There's a basketball court. Yeah. It's so cool. So what are some of the other areas within the uh, in the floor that we could go to if we were going to go to them? Well, it's really expansive, I, I must say. And uh, right behind you, you're looking at pods of lounges. It does overlook the water, the mountains, the city. And what the nth floor enables you to do and our adjacent one Accenture Park area is to choose the activity in the way you like it. You might be in the mood for some relaxing alone time, you know, gazing out over the horizon. As you mentioned, there's a basketball court just behind us. And I know a number of us have tried uh, gaming in the metaverse. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> or you might, you might go into uh, the One Accenture Park area and try some group activities, solve some quizzes or challenges together. There are so many options. And with a little creativity and uh, some free time to explore it all, the options are really endless. So Stacy, IPR has a organizational communication research center, and we're doing a lot mm -hmm. of work looking at employee engagement, the future of work. Mm -hmm. So how does Accenture imagine using the nth floor for the future of work, like training employees, some of the upskilling and preparing for what is definitely a different way of how we are working? Well, first of all, Tina, that is going to be fascinating research. Uh, as you know, I'm a fan of all IPR research. I haven't met one that I don't like, but it's a great question and it's so timely. We think of the future of work as beyond spaces and places. So when I heard you list off all those things, I was thinking yes, yes, and yes. The uh, end floor where we are right now is it's going to be part of the continuum of the future of work. And we look at the metaverse as a blend with the physical world. You won't always be in one place. You might spend more time one week in the physical world, 
a bit more time in the metaverse the next week as needs arise, as different uh, interactions are necessary. And the training aspect of this is just incredible. I can meet up with a training group and talk to people from all over the world, solve problems with them, hear their diverse perspectives and opinions. If I were in the real world, I'd have to get on a plane to do that. And my time and investment would be you know, maybe doubled, tripled, endless on the travel time. The other fabulous thing about it is the immersive learning is multiples more effective of how I pick up and retain information. So there are a ton of benefits and it's not right for every situation, but as a continuum and as part of what we're offering in the future of work, this is really something that we see as essential to providing our people all over the world. Yeah, I think the global aspect is really important and also being able to wear your pajamas as you're working and no one would know any different. The pajamas are interesting, but you know what I'm thinking of, Tina, and I know you're an animal lover. So we can take our animals to the nth floor and uh, show them off to our colleagues. I, I know there's a lot more coming here and we're going to have uh, a lot of fun with it. We're also going to learn a lot from it. And I know we'll keep inventing it. Uh, this is really just the beginning. Oh, that's super cool. So I think you were going to show us some of the recreational stuff. I hear there's a lot here. So why don't we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it. So Stacey, here we are in the basketball area, and uh, I would love to hear, so this is recreation, and we, we've we seen a lot. Um, we have our Center for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, where we talk about mental health and people mm -hmm. trying to navigate sort of the work life. And so this is right. a great recreation space. What are some of the recreational opportunities you have here for people to take a break in the metaverse? There's so many options here. And as you said, we're running on the basketball court. If you want to blow off some steam, this is a great way to do it. And I often meet up with colleagues here and just kind of check out their, their latest jump shot. The other options, I mean, there are 100 to 200 rooms. One of my favorites is the beach. Maybe not beach you're going to take a vacation on, but boy, does it feel like a vacation during the workday. And I recently learned that a colleague had been whale watching at the beach. So that's definitely something oh, that's I want to cool. try being transported away from your desk for the day. And it really does provide, even if you only have five or 10 minutes, it really resets you and enables you to kind of clear your head and just step away from whatever it is you're doing. So you come back refreshed and ready to go. I feel like we should take a shot, basketball shot. <laughs> I, I usually watch others, but uh, I'll, I'll try to give it a shot myself. No, I feel like we, yeah, uh, totally. All right. One, two, Three, warming up. Yay. I think we're going to leave the metaverse and come back to our real selves. I look forward to seeing you there, Tina. Okay. This has been a, a terrific break. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, so Stacey, yes. can you tell us a little bit about where we are and what we're seeing? Well, probably most importantly, we're at Accenture and uh, Wine Manhattan West. This is our new amazing innovation hub building. We have the top eight floors here and we actually moved in during the pandemic. So it was very exciting once we started coming back to the office, coming back to this new incredible space. We've got just tons of technology here, everything from a cloud room to a metaverse visioning room. It is uh, never a dull moment, honestly. So I have to keep myself focused on work. It's so will you tell us a little bit about your career journey and then how you, you're, and then you've been here a while at Accenture I've, and I've talk about, yeah, and talk about yeah, that. Yeah, well, I uh, started as a journalist and that was a gift that I got to meet the city manager who was the public relations you know, liaison and community coordinator. And she really became an early mentor for me. And I quickly decided that I wanted to be just like her and help make sense of things. I was a young, aspiring journalist, but I did need people to step in, explain things, give me information. And she did it in such um, an elegant, respectful way that I took that with me as I made the move to PR a few years later. And I was lucky I worked uh, a few terrific agencies and uh, got my hands on a lot of things there before 
moving over to what was then Anderson Consulting and is now Accenture. So it's, uh, I can't believe it's been more than 25, 28, yeah. but who's counting? And every day is different, and that's just the way I like it. I, I don't think I'd like to get up and know everything that was going to happen uh, each day. And I don't. <laughs> so IPR, we do a series called Deconstructing where we break down mm -hmm. commonly used terms to have like a better understanding. So one of our uh, our, well, our second one we did was on stakeholder capitalism. Mm -hmm. I remember that. that yes. Was fantastic. Yes. Thank you. The watchword. <laughs> yes, the watchword. And exactly like what it is, what are the positives, what are the negatives, and where did it, where did the term come from? And I know that Accenture and your team has been working on this 360 value reporting. So do you want to talk about what exactly that is, a 360 degree value reporting, and how your team is involved in communicating about that? No, thank you. It's actually one of my favorite questions. And again, it's very grounded in the business. Uh, our chair and CEO, Julie Sweet, led a pathway to help us create 360 degree value for clients. And what is that? It's value beyond financial value. It's value beyond business efficiency. It's asking questions, what else can we do for you as a client? Do you need help with environmental sustainability? Can we help attract a more diverse workforce to be part of this project? Can we help you with reskilling? So it's always looking at that whole picture of 360 value versus just any one aspect of it. We actually measure our own value that way as a company. You'll hear uh, Julie say that on earnings that we measure our success by the 360 value we create. So when we thought about the very important um, task of ESG reporting, which I don't think anyone would argue, you know, minute by minute, it gets it's, more and important. More and more, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. Speaking of the watchword. Yeah. We looked at how we could connect that to what was at the core of our business and driving it, 360 degree value. So telling that story through our reporting, becoming more transparent, clearer about the various aspects that we are delivering as a company. That is really just the grounding of it. And it's creating value, we like to say, in every direction, right? It's not just financial value, but it's all these other aspects. And we've created a, a new site. If you check it out at Accenture.com, we published last December. It was a groundbreaking moment for us. Whole new level of transparency. We have six uh, reporting indices from TCFD to SASB. They're all up there. They're a click away. This should be super easy in a way that you know, we tried before, but we've taken it to a new level with making the information our shareholders, our people, our clients and communities want to know about us and they want to come there and get a specific thing. It's easy to do now. So watch for the uh, next version uh, publishing this December 2022 and uh, more in store, I promise you. All right, Stacey, it's yes. time to ask you some fun questions. Oh, we're allowed to have fun. Yes, I know. Okay. It's amazing. Awesome. And so uh, we take this from James Lipton's yeah. um, Inside the Actors Studio. Mm. And I changed my voice to mimic his I, formality. I it's I did, really yeah. good. Yeah. And so there's some really cool interactive screens here, too, that you have. There are. Here, there are. Yep. All of my movements. Be careful. They're highly addictive. I know. So. Yes. I found there's a lot of things here at Accenture that are highly <laughs> addictive. So... Um, sure. So, uh, how do you how do you like to spend your free time? How do you unwind after a long day? Well, one of the things that I became very reinterested because I played tennis before in my life, but uh, one of the first sports you could actually get back into was tennis, and uh, I found my way back in and have just continued. It's uh, been a wonderful way both to make friends, blow off steam. I may have gotten slightly better, and I emphasize oh, that's slightly. That's fantastic. But uh, for me, it, it is addictive. And you know, you hit that one good shot, granted you hit the six bad ones, but it keeps me coming back. It's a great workout and uh, just a terrific way to step away from it all. Great, okay, what are your favorite books? Well, funny you should ask. How did that I happen? I just had a couple I was hanging out with here. Um, <laughs> At the risk of being somewhat self-promotional, I will highly recommend Radically Human, written by uh, our chief technology officer, Paul Doherty. It's his second book, both bestsellers on Amazon. And it really talks in a very simple, clear way, both about the technology revolution, AI, everything that is changing our lives just as we speak. But it also talks about the human factor and how that is incredibly important. And that will be a consistent connector and connective tissue through it all. So it helps me put a lot of things together. And I, I definitely wanted to recommend that. Oh, great. The book I'm reading right now, better job displaying, The Trouble with Poetry. And uh, you might recognize Billy Collins, uh, twice uh, 
Poet Laureate here in our fair country. Um, I did not pick this book, it picked me. It's actually for a book club that my uh, son's school parents are hosting on an upcoming parents weekend. So I thought I'd dip my toe in and it's been fascinating. I had not read Billy Collins before. His poems are so simple, they're so, again, clear. It's like the, you know, the bookend to the technology. And it just helped me. I was a poetry major in college, 16th century poetry. Oh, wow. Let me tell you, that poetry needed a lot of talking about. This is actually just a fun, enlightening, sort of take yourself away from it all read. And uh, right off the bat, it talks about uh, poet's job is looking out the window. And I really thought about what we do mm, for a yeah. living and the creativity that all of us have to bring to our jobs. And it's a little bit inspiring. Okay, so what about music? What's like your favorite band or what sort of music oh, do you like to listen to? That, that is easy. Um, anything 80s, almost anything 80s. And uh, favorite band, without a doubt, New Order. Oh, Last really? Last Friday Fantastic. night, about this time, I was getting ready to uh, go to a New Order Pet Shop Boys show yeah. in Brooklyn. It was off the charts amazing. All right, so what about like movies and uh, TV shows? What yeah, sort of things well, you like to watch? You know, there's so many, right? But I, I will say, I like to laugh. And uh, I've, some of my most special memories with my boys, who are now older boys, uh, their late teens, was watching funny movies together. And probably our all-time favorite is Will Ferrell. He's and, hilarious. Uh, I will never forget the time we saw Anchorman and then Anchorman 2. I mean, we had tears in our eyes. And we've watched them since over and over. So if you've ever had a, a tough day in the Jones household, you just get Will Ferrell out and pick one from the collection. It's a, it's a great release. He's I just know, a master I do comedian. love Will Ferrell. Yeah, he's amazing. Do you have any other favorite comedians? Well, I can't, it's funny, because I would say Will Ferrell's probably my second favorite comedian, mm -hmm. but there's this guy, um, Steve Cody, who is, oh. he's so funny. He's oh, he's like so the CEO of Peppergum. He was our, he's our yeah, vice chair at IPR. That's right, I've seen him a few yeah, times. Yeah, he's pretty yeah, funny. He's oh, amazing. Stacy, I have a surprise for you, actually. No Look. <gasps> It's Steve Cody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just, I, 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 how did I had no idea he was well, going to be here. I'm interviewing for the receptionist position here. Yay. Yes, and um, I consider myself the Ron Burgundy of public relations. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you could put in a good word for me. And if I get the receptionist gig, I will get you a peppercorn brand hoodie. Oh my hoodie. gosh! Well, say no more, Steve. That that sounds like a, a perfect deal. I'm ready deal to start to Monday. I can start Monday. Are we starting a humor line, Accenture joke of the day? Or, absolutely. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Well, this could be a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A little technology and smiles. Absolutely. <laughs> it's all part of the metaverse. Awesome. Well, thank you for stopping by, Steve. Yeah, no, I've got to it go climb amazing. the Empire State Building. So oh, okay. someone's, someone's got to do it. Someone's <laughs> got to do it. So it's great seeing you guys. What a nice surprise. Always a pleasure to stop by. And I'll be I'm at the desk Monday. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll look for you there. All right. Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye. Bye, Steve. <laughs> if heaven does exist, what mm -hmm. would you like to say? What would you like to hear God say as you enter the pearly gates? Maybe welcome Stacy. That would be a good start. <laughs> you made it in. <laughs> you gave it your best. <laughs> but I, I guess, um, kidding aside, I, I would like to leave this place better than I found it. And I think about that a lot with Accenture. And do I have a day, a week, a month, a year that I can actually say I made the place a little better? I helped someone do a little more. I put a smile on someone's face. And... Uh, that's what makes it a good day, wherever you are. Yeah, I will say, so stacy has been chair for two years, and she was vice chair before that, and she has been just a wonderful person to work with. You've been so wonderful, and you've made a difference for IPR and our work there. So well, thank we you, appreciate Tina. that. You so and thanks. the IPR trustees and the community, it makes it easy. So it's, uh, it's always a pleasure, never a chore. Thank good. you for the opportunity. I'll never forget when you and... Uh, Steve Cody, our uh, Your favorite visiting comedian. comedian, yes. <laughs> I was sitting at a page conference, I believe, over at a table handling an issue, and you two snuck up on me and said, we have a question for you, and I thought, oh, this is going to be really hard, and you presented me with this great opportunity, and I was uh, 
hard pressed to say anything, but yes, it's been a, a great adventure and looking forward to all that IPR will achieve and the difference it will make in the future. So, well, thank you. Lots of good stuff ahead. Well, I really appreciate you taking us around today and seeing all the wonderful things at Accenture. It was a lot of fun. It was and your fun. team is great. And the metaverse is they super are. cool. <laughs> and what a view. And holograms. It was just a really fun, tactile, visual, just audio experience. So I really appreciate you taking us around today. Well, thank you for being game for it all. And uh, some great memories were made today. Absolutely. So this wraps up our episode of In a Car with IPR. Thanks to our special guest, Steve Cody of Peppercom, who is right there. You want to you have to say bye, Steve. Cameo's coming back. Bye, Steve. <laughs> bye, Steve. So if you like this video, please follow our YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up. And we're looking forward to more um, episodes of In a Car with IPR, where we're not massive, we can see people in person. So thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.